Alright guys, so if you haven't seen it, um, I, I don't know whether I'm going to release this video first or the other one second or first, I don't know what I'm doing yet. So essentially I have this bit video which I am doing a team building guide for Super 17 and I also have another video which is the banner review of Super 17 from the JP side. So chances are I'm releasing the Super 17 team building guide first, that's this video, just because um, at least you can take a look and see what cards you have that link well with him before the banner comes out and then you can go ahead and take a look at the banner itself to see what cards are actually available on it so yeah i think i'm going to do this one first so this one's probably going to air on wednesday so stay tuned for tomorrow's video which is going to be me going over the jp banner and the cards that are there whether i think it's worth it or not anyway so this card is the ultimate android super 17 his leader ability is extreme agility type key plus three hp attack and defense plus 120 percent and super agility type is key plus one hp attack and defense plus 50 percent Super attack is shocking death ball, causes immense damage to the enemy and greatly lowers defense. Passive skill, nightmarish mechanism. Damage received minus 40%, attack plus 30% with each attack received, up to 120% max. Now, that means he can get attacked up to four times before he's doing max damage. Once he's hitting up to four times, and he's hitting like a freaking beast. He's hitting like a truck. Link skills are Android Assault, Fear and Faith, Fused Fighter, Nightmare, GT, Shocking Speed, and Fierce Battle. Max stats are HP of 11,625, attack of 10,500, and defense of 5,188, and a 12 key multiplier of 150%. Really overall good unit, really like him. I'm not a big fan of the, the extreme agility, just because personally I already have a really good optimal mo super agility team, and I don't think you really need to have two versions of the same team. That's just my opinion on it. If you want to go for both, go for it. I don't really plan on going for him. As much as I would like to have him in some of the units that are on this banner, I can really do without them. Um, up until this point in the game, I pretty much went for almost every single banner card except for maybe two. And that's just because I know that they're going to be available on other banners. But anyway, um, at this point in the game, I'm not going hard on any of the banners that I really don't want. I think one mono uh, attribute type team is more than enough. Uh, so let's go ahead and talk about the team building right here. So first off, this is the team building guide. This is just for extreme type villains for if he goes on to a villain's team, right? So as you see here, he links well with all the Janembas. All the Janembas essentially share all the same link skills with him. Um, so let's go ahead and take a look at that. Let's see, four links if it wants to highlight. And his link skills are attack plus 15%, attack plus 10% for fierce battle and nightmare. Uh, shocking speed and fear and face, so key plus four. So on the agility Janemba, he shares four key links total. I mean, four links total, four key and 25%. The strength Janemba is, I believe it's the same with the strength and the intelligence overall. Highlight that. Yeah, same thing, four key and 25%. And the intelligence one, I'm assuming, is going to be the same exact one. And yeah, it's the same one. So overall, if you're running a mono villains team, um, any of the Janembas will link very, very well with the Super 17. So... Go ahead and run them alongside him. Plus, they are they're really good tanks, so you can go ahead and run them. Um, other one is going to be the SR Technique uh, Android 17. It's actually odd. So yeah, he's the only. He's like the other SR apparently doesn't link very well with him. This one does. Uh, it's only because of that Android Defense plus a thousand percent up. I personally don't find it very viable. This Android will be coming out on the banner. By the way, that uh, SR Janemba, the agility one, isn't available yet on the global side. He will be. He will be in the future, um, he's not available now, so keep that in mind when we're thinking about team building here. Um, I just wanted to throw him on there, because he will be viable, because he will be out at some point soon, in the next couple months most likely. Um, anyway, so when this Android 17, the tech one comes out, he'll be linking a little bit better, he gets that defense boost, not, not amazing. The other one, as you guys have, can see right here, the next best one is going to be the Agility Doken Awaken version of Android 17. Um, this is essentially 15%, 25% uh, up attack buff. 1,000 flat out defense buff and key plus two. Not the best, but he is a decent unit and he has his own support. So not only is he giving 25%, he also, let me, where is he? Oh yeah, that's him right here. So he does, he gives agility key, uh, type key plus two. So he's giving an additional key link of two and an additional attack of 25% and defense of 25%. So he's going to be doing a lot better. Um, plus they're good linking buddies. So you could always just keep them together because of that fact. The other one is he links um, better is the agility the i'm sorry the intelligence uh, android 17. um he still has the same exact link skills he just gives it an additional two key i believe it is for fear and the fear and faith 
I'm pretty sure that Link skill was the difference between the two of them. Fear and Faith, Shocking Speed. Um, no, it was Shocking Speed. So sh Shocking Speed is what he actually has. Oh, actually, he has two key links. Anyway, um, so this one is more for key. This one, I guess, more for attack. <laughs> Sorry, I know I'm all over the place right now. It's kind of uh, 12, 30, 1 o'clock in the morning, and I'm really trying to get this cranked out so that way you guys have some videos um, while I am not around. Um, the adult conversion of him actually does a lot better. He gives six key links total. So now he's doing defense plus a thousand, and he's giving key, a, a shocking speed plus two, GT plus two, uh, super fierce battle, attack plus 15%, nightmare, attack plus 10%, and fear and faith. So this one is actually the best linky one, is the intelligence one on a mono intelligence team. You're getting two, four, six key, attack plus 25% up, and you're getting an additional defense up. Now, in terms of attack buff, um, the agility one's definitely better because you're getting the passive on that. Uh, so they're going to be hitting that off. So that's going to make it a little bit more viable. That's a 50% total attack and, well, attack up and then defense plus 25%. Um, so it's really hit or miss. If you have both of them, I wouldn't know who to tell you to run. Probably the intelligence one if, let me get him out of there. Um, the, probably the intelligence one if you're running like a double merged monster lead. Because that way you get all the key links if you're running a double rosé lead. Um, you're probably just going to go ahead and run this uh, Android 17 next to him just because he gets more attack buff. Anyway, the other three are going to be the um, Omega Shenron. As you see here, we have the Extreme one. Now, again, this Extreme one is not available. This is the Extreme one that just came out with the physical Omega Shenron guys. So I know he's not going to be ideal for a global side as of yet, but he will be at some point. So keep that in mind. Uh, GD, he shares six link skills and attack plus 15% up, which is super fierce battle. Not that bad. So for a mono extreme team, though, we do have the other two Omega Shenrons that are currently available to link with him. And those guys are actually the same amount of link skills as well. Six key attack plus 15% up. And I believe the um, other Omega is the same one. Uh, that's not the one with. It's this one here. Key plus six and attack plus 15% up. Yeah. Uh, on other, other note, just so you guys do know, he does link very well with the Super Gogeta. So, you know, take that for what you will. You're not going to really have find many uses where you're going to have both of them on the team. But he does share four link skills, which is attack plus six. I mean, key plus six and attack plus 15%. So that's going to be really beneficial there. I'm assuming the only time you would do that is in a mass Bardock Saiyan team. Um, but he is, or mass Saiyan Bardock. Uh, he's, that's only going to come out in probably the next banner, most likely. We don't know yet. But that's what I would say. And then the other one is going to be a Merge the Masu. In terms of best links. So on a double merge the Masu lead, he's going to be running, let's see, when merge the Masu comes up, that's four key right there, and 25% attack buff. So overall, guys, these are his best linking buddies, um, the Agility um, uh, uh, the agility Janemba and the Agility Omega are currently not out. And those are going to be, uh, not, they're not going to be staples in the team, but they're going to be good for your mono agility team. Now let's go ahead and talk about that mono agility team. As we see over here, I have everyone set up. So now you have, in terms of what I think would be a really decent team, right? You obviously have your Super 17, and you have the LR Android. Now, I didn't bring, uh, the can't bring another uh, Super 17 over here, but the other one was going to be the Agility Android 17, because he shares four link skills plus that passive skill, and it's an agility character. So he's going to be buffing any of the support units that I have listed over here that will come up on the field. So overall, in terms of a mono extreme agility team, I would recommend a Super 17 with the LR Android, uh, especially if you have some dupe system in there. They are free, guys, so you can get them whenever you need to. And then you're going to have the other Super 17 with the other Android 7. On rotation, you're going to have the Meta Reldo, which is attack and defense plus 40% up plus key plus 3. And you could also have, in my other recommendation, would be the Korra, the World Tournament Reward Korra, by the way. He does agility type um, key, I mean, sorry, attack and defense plus 30%. So he is a lot better to have on rotation because of that. Um, and then Thouser as well, because he does attack and defense plus 20% plus two so yeah agility type key plus two attack and defense plus 20 percent um and then uh, this is 17 over here uh he's better at linking because he does hit off a lot of his link skills for those link skills but he does agility type key plus two and attack and defense plus 25 percent so if you keep them two together that uh super 17 is going to be hitting a lot harder i would recommend keeping this one with the harder hitting super 17 on your team so it would be like if your friend has the stronger 17, try and keep these two together on longer battles. And if you have the stronger one, keep him with with him. Essentially is what I'm trying to say. Um, uh, the Janemba I just have over here, which is future, is going to be physical to agility. Orbs, not really that great. Attack plus 20%, so he's more for orb manipulation. I wouldn't recommend running him. Um, and the Omega is going to be a good support unit as well in the future, though. Um, he's not currently available, so he won't be really that viable on the team until that time. 
but in terms of support units, the, the, the extreme agility team, these are all the freaking support units that you actually have. One, two, three, four, five. You have five support units, and one of the support units is a linking buddy on top of that. So you guys are going to be having a really good time building teams with this. Now, I did throw the Majin Vegeta here because he is an extreme character. Unfortunately, he has almost no one that he links really well with on a mono agility extreme team except for Rose, and that's one key link. Now, granted, now I would say keep these two together just because he gives plus three. Um, so there, they're going to be linked really well together. So at that point, you would probably, if you, you know, let's say you don't have this 17 over here or the LR Android. Um, uh, unfortunately, one of the 17s is going to be off rotation, so he's not going to be coming up all the time. You would need to decide if which one of these you actually have. Let's just say you don't have him because he's a World Tournament exclusive reward. So you're going to have 117 on rotation, and we'll use, we'll use this guy over here as a Super 7. So you have two guys who are giving attack and defense and key buffs. Which is really nice because it's really good for Majin Vegeta. And on top of that, you don't want him getting the 18 plus key. Even though it's an AoE, it does weaker damage than his 12 to 7 key attack. So this is another rotation that you might want to take into consideration. Now on the bottom over here, other than... Well, these guys are all support units. These three are all pretty decent units over here. Uh, the Android 18, not so much. He's just a key orb manipulator. But the uh, Janemba and the... Uh, but the Bojack are both decent units, especially the Bojack. I think he's attack plus 90% when launching um, a super attack. And actually, you know what? I did not look up that Zanya, so let's go ahead and take, uh, take a look at her really quick. Um, I forgot. I know she um, got a Doken Awakening, and I believe she became really uh, decent. Zanya. Maybe that's why I misspelled it. There we go. Zanya Disambiguation. Um, I know she got a, a buff, and I'm pretty sure... Okay, yeah, no, she's just recovered 10% HP at the start of the turn. So, she'll be decent, I guess, on a Super 17 team, because 17, 10% uh, of, like, 200,000 is 20,000. That's really not that bad, and she's, I guess, pretty decent on that mono team. I don't really think she has a lot of linking buddies. Um, just a couple key links, two key links here and there with everyone, so... She's easier to attain, so you can get her. She is just an SR, you pull in the and Awaken her. Um, but overall, guys, this is who you're probably going to want to run on a mono agility team. Again, this Omega and this Janemba are currently not available. Um, oh, neither is the real, though, actually. Uh, so this is all to come. I uh, really apologize about that. And I think the Doken Awaken... Oh, no, the, the Bojack does Doken Awaken. So overall, guys, you do have a good team that's currently available, uh, especially if you pull the 17. Really decent, and in the future as well, especially when that real though. The real though should be out soon, though, guys, because they just released the tech banner. They're probably going to do the agility banner soon. And then at some point, we're going to get the um, Janemba and the Omega. Omega probably won't come out till after Christmas, and Janemba will probably come out around Christmas. Um, but overall, you don't really need them once the real though comes out because you have a lot of different units that you can use from. But anyway, thank you for joining me here today. I appreciate you taking the time uh, for come by and watch this team building guide. I hope this was really helpful. Make sure to subscribe if you're new here, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.